Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm and bring hither the timbrel, the peasant harp with the psaltery. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon and the time appointed on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel and the law of the God of Jacob. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judges among the gods. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked, said law? Defend the poor and the fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Read them out of the land and the hand of the wicked. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes. And I've read to you Psalm chapter 81, verses 1 through 4, and Psalm 82, 1 through 6. May the Lord add to his hearing, reading, and applying of his holy word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that song, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Help All me, right, brother, sisters and brothers. We made it. We made it again, huh, brother Sid? Yeah, we man. Made it look, to another man. Sabbath, brother. Huh? Hey, man. I'm happy and uh, <coughs> uh hey, man. I'm 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 thankful, brother, to the Lord for His goodness and His mercy toward the children of me in Israel. Yes, sir. So look, brothers and sisters, that was brother Sidney from Riverdale. He's gonna be uh guest teacher tonight with me and uh so let me welcome everybody uh to another episode of let us reason together broadcast okay um where we teach this bible by subject and title this is an israel of god production and uh we thank every last one of you out there for tuning in and supporting not only this one but the rest of our platforms coming out of the Israel of God. And uh, we look at it as a privilege to come out here and share the word of God with you, especially to bring the Sabbath in with you. You know, it's like a weekly little reunion right here on this little screen right here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, we have from Memphis reading for us again is our brother Rashad from the Israel of God in Memphis 10. Peace, my brother. Welcome. Peace and love, family members. It's good to see you all. It's good to see you all. Let's go and get this bomb in. Yes, sir. So look, brothers and sisters, we are without Brother Kevin again. <clears throat> I saw him two days ago. Him, Sister Montree, Brother Dan, St. Louis. Brother Kevin looking good. He had a smile on his face. He's talking, Praise moving Lord. around a little something, something, peace. And love you, my brother. It was good to see you for them few minutes, okay? Uh, and, uh, man, as always, we'll be glad to have you back. We still got you in prayer, my brother. And we're not forgetting about you, okay? Um, and and I've already spoken to uh, uh, Brother Sidney. I'm going to turn the mic over to him. And for those who don't know me, I'm Brother James from Israel of God out here in the Bay Area. So at this moment, Brother Sid, since you're going to start us off, I'm going to turn the mic over to you, brother. Good evening to you, and welcome aboard. Hey, man. <clears throat> once again, once again, it's good to be back, man. I'm, uh, again, like I said, it's a blessing, honor, and a pleasure to come forth to deal with the word of truth, the word of God on the uh, Holy Sabbath evening. this Friday evening. Uh, man, praise God and uh, blessings to everybody listening in. And, uh, man, praise God for uh, Brother Kevin's, uh, you know, his recovery. And uh, I want, I'm ready to see that brother back on screen here, man. You know, see his face and dropping that word, you know what I'm saying? You know, with his voice, brother. Yes, sir. So, uh, hey, man, without any further ado, title of the lesson today, Rebels Not Allowed. <laughs> Check them out. Rebels Not Allowed. We're going to look at this lesson, man, because it's important to know uh, some of the things the Lord got in here. Uh, and he tell us uh, uh, certain things about being rebels, and we're going to see some of the things how the Lord deal with rebels and what the rebels deal with as well, okay? So we don't want to be rebels. Uh, the Lord tell us uh, 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 to turn aside and come out of that way. And one thing I want to put out here, too, before we get into this scripture in Revelation chapter 1, where we're going to start at Revelation 1, Man, when you rebel, brother, sisters, you have to think about what is you rebelling against. 
one, mm -hmm. the rep rebellion is against God. The rebellion keeps a man from getting into the kingdom of God. And you rebel against righteousness. You rebel against holiness. You rebel against goodness, mercy, love. And where do we uh, 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 think in our own minds and reasonability that the person who goes against love, righteousness, truth, where should they end up? We're going to look at this, man. Let's get it. Revelation chapter one. We're going to open it up, Brother Rashad. Let's do it, my brother. Yes, Revelation so. one and verse three. When you get it, go ahead. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The time is at hand, people. Right now is the time. Today, if you're listening to this word, deal with it. Whenever you hear. It. But look, it's a blessed is he that, I like how you read that, read it. <laughs> Blessed is he that read this thing. So it's a blessing yes, to read, hear, and keep it. Now, we're going to look at that because that's going to come back up in this lesson. Blessed is he that read, hear it, and keep it. Let's go into Isaiah chapter 30. Because that's that three-piece three spicy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And, and and another thing, brother James. See, when you uh, uh uh, if you don't read it, hear it, and keep it, you're rebelling. Yes. Now, sir. Yes. It, it do it do de depend on whether your rebellion is willful or in ignorance. That matters. But either way it go, you still got the same kind of station, and you got to work that thing out. So now, Isaiah chapter thirty. Isaiah chapter 30, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1, my brother. When you get it, go ahead. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Mm. Now, you see how that's set up, man? Uh, woe to the rebellious. The Lord let us know, man, don't fool around with this rebellion because it's going to be straight woe. Like, whoa, <laughs> like, whoa, mm -hmm. to the rebellious, but they take counsel. See, they got some information and they got some teaching and they got some knowledge, but not from the Lord. That's important. Yes. Whoa. And they got a covering. They all covered up, but not by God's spirit. They're not following his word. Let's skip down to verse uh, eight, brother, and look at this thing. Go ahead. Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Now, look, this is important too. The Lord say, go note that thing and write it in a book that this rebellious, <laughs> hey man, they covering, but not of my spirit. And I want you to know this too. And it's going to be for a time to come forever and ever. I'm letting you know how this thing is set up. Uh, 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 write it down. This is important. Go ahead and read. Yes, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. See how the rebellious work? They be lying and they will not hear the laws. of God. Man, anybody trying to hear that, man? I'm trying to get this money, you dig? Or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. I'm living my best life. Right. <laughs> I'm YOLO anyway. <laughs> I only live once, though, so I'm going to live it to the fullest. Of um, sin, yes, sir. and grievousness and transgression of the law, even uh, on the spirit of witchcraft, the sister put on there. That was brother Will. Yeah, that's rebellion. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You like that, brother? Yes, sir. We gonna deal with it. All right, go ahead, read verse ten. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets. Prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Now, you see these rebels got some smooth stuff they come with. The, the rebels, they want to hear smooth stuff, 
and they want somebody to bring a smooth word. God love everybody. You understand, <laughs> sister? Yeah, I right. understand, preacher. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> smooth and smooth can equal rebellion and 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 and, and rude <laughs> speech from the Lord. Like depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. Right. Hey, Amen. You don't want to hear that because that's what he's going to say to the rebels. That's why we got to take heed to this thing and deal righteously and truly and in true holiness. Mm. Seeing upon seeing. Let's go, brother. Go ahead. 11. Get you out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. Man, get out of my face with that Bible, man. Right. I ain't trying to hear that type of way of life. Mm -hmm. Turn aside the path, man. Uh, 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 deal with what the what everybody else. Why you don't deal with what everybody else deal with? Mm -hmm. Get out the way. Get him out the way. Cause who? Cause Jesus. Yeah. To cease. I don't want to hear. Stop talking to me about that. Stop talking to me, man. I want to hear, brother. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing else about that Bible, man. Come on, man. Don't come right here talk about that Bible. See, they get these rebels sometimes, they, and then sometimes they smooth. Man, God love everybody, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, we all yeah. holy. <laughs> we we all love God. So what's the what's the problem? Some of these rebels, like I said, they smooth, man. Turn aside, cause see rebels want the holy one of Israel to cease from them before them. Don't bring that to me. I ain't trying to hear that. Sometimes you preaching the word. <laughs> And they might be arguing with their phone while they watching you on YouTube. Man, mm. no, nah, man. I don't agree with that, man. Why is he saying that, man? Right. That ain't what they're saying. Mm -hmm. That's re rebellion, even in the mind. Go ahead and read, though. We're done with that 11, bro. We're done with 11? All right, bro. I was getting happy. Let's go to Isaiah 65, then. I feel you. Isaiah 65. <laughs> you seen I was getting all worked up. No, no, no. Yeah. it's gonna do that. We we just going to see Latin, brother. Appreciate that. <laughs> I'm like, keep reading. He like, oh, we just going to let. Oh, okay, okay, my <laughs> I, <laughs> Isaiah 65, my brother. <laughs> Isaiah 65. Let's get it. Isaiah 65 and verse two. Okay, but see, you had this rebellious works. You have this rebellious attitude and that rebellious spirit following rebellious words and teachings that might sound smooth, smooth things. Go ahead and read Isaiah 65 and 2. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people, which walketh in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. What else rebellious people do? They do things that ain't good and they go according to their own thoughts and see that them, they uh, uh, they like smooth things, but they will tell you, hey, man, I'm serving God. You serve God your way and I serve God my way. With all this pride and, and, and type of way. Go ahead and read. Uh, people that provoke with me to anger continually to my face, that sacrificeth in gardens and burneth incense upon altars of brick. See, we need to deal with this because he said it's a people, these type of people that walk according to their own thoughts, not according to the word of God, but according to their own. He said what? He said they provoke him to anger continually to his face. Mm -hmm. But who they usually be arguing with his service. Man, no, nah, I don't agree with that, man. Come on, man. Right. That ain't even right. That don't even, you know, how, how anybody supposed to keep all them commandments. Right. They provoking the Lord because he's the one that set this word that we teach. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes. Four, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels. What? He said that they, see, they be breaking that law. These rebellious that go according to what they think. I think all meats is good and good to be consumed. And God created them for uh, my good pleasure. Whatever they say. According to their own thoughts, not according to God's law, they eat the swine flesh and they lodge among the graves, brother. They among dead people. <laughs> that don't sound like no blessing. He said, blessed is he that read, hear it, and keep it. Yes, sir. But if you among the dead and the graves, brother, that means uh, a God is the God of the living. 
Yes, sir. But you out here eating swine flesh among the dead that don't know nothing. Among dead people. See, you don't want to be there because <laughs> these dead also be rebelling and they're against the Lord. They contrary. So now let go ahead and keep reading. And broth of abominable things is in their vessels, which say, mm -hmm. stand by thyself. Come not near me to me, for I am holier than thou. See, look at Dathan and Korah rose up on Moses. We all holy, bro. See, these same people, they rebels, but they will be in the church. Mm -hmm. Just because you in the church don't mean that you on point. What you, hey, you got to have it right. Huh? Remember Miriam and Aaron came up on Moses too about the Ethiopian woman. Remember that? <laughs> I remember. Yes, sir. And so, and see, the Lord came in and dealt with that, didn't he? Right, he did. He, he, he said the Lord called them suddenly. Hey, all three of y'all, come out here. Let me <laughs> tell y'all something. The Lord called them suddenly. You know when you call, hey, get in here right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> suddenly, man. And then you come, huh? Hey man, let me tell you something, man. We you wasn't afraid to speak against my servant. Hmm. What verse? Right. We're at the end of five. Go ahead and read. These are a smoke in my nose, a fire that burneth all the day. Go ahead. Behold, it is written before me. I will not keep silence, but will recompense, even recompense into their bosom. I'm going to recompense these. Uh, I'm going to repay these rebels, man. That's mm -hmm. in my smoke in my nose. that irritate me all day long. I'm yes, going to repay them. It's written. And you see how he keeps saying it's written before me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not only is it written about what's right, it's written about what you shouldn't do, too. Like be a rebel. Go ahead and read. Keep going. Yeah, what verse? That was the end of six. All right, let's go to Isaiah 14. Isaiah chapter 14. And when you get it, pick it up at verse 12. Isaiah 14 and verse 12. Look at Satan real quick. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did as weaken the nations? How is it that he, because the rebellion yes. through transgression. Go ahead. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I Go ahead. will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation and the sides of the north. I See, will hey, I'm going I'm to do this here and I'm going to do that. Yes, uh, sir. <laughs> not Lord willing. <laughs> right. Not, not only that. that. Look at what he said this in his heart, brother. See, sometime in your heart, if you're going against the word of God, like I say, you could be looking at this broadcast. I don't agree with that. Man, this brother up here talking about you could be rebelling in your mind. See, Satan said in his heart, I'm gonna do this here. This is what I'm gonna do. You did. Lord tell me that man, look, this is what I got going on. This is what I know. God love everybody. It's people out here thinking like that and transgressing, lying. Committing adultery, bearing false witness, polluting the Sabbath day, and doing a whole lot of other stuff. And got it in mind. They do things to pollute the Sabbath and say, hey man, God understand my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sure do. And yeah. you you irritating him. That's right, brother. You irritating him. Mm -hmm. And you're rebelling against what he already had written that's written before him forever and ever. Go ahead and read, yeah. brother. 14. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Look, think it crazy in your mind, man. Go ahead. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Look what the Lord like. Yet you shall be brought down to the pit, brother. Why are you talking all that? Right. <laughs> and thinking all that. Let's go to Ezekiel 28, brother. Teach, bro. See, we need to understand rebelling in the mind. If it's contrary to the Bible, you you still put yourself in the same space because when you get in your mind, you start acting on. That's why the Lord say a man when he look on a woman and lusted, and sisters too have already you already there. Because don't make me think about that food. No, I ain't doing that thing, man. It's it's wickedness. It's against the Lord. And like Joseph said, it's a great wickedness to to be contrary to this uh, commandment. 
But let's go to Ezekiel 28. Simple and plain. Ezekiel 28. And um, then I'm uh, I don't use up enough time. I'm gonna slide it over to my brother so he can show you the fear of the Lord on the rebel. Ezekiel 28 and 14, my brother. When you get it, go ahead. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Till sin. Because yes, that uh, uh, rebellion is rebelling against the commandment. Rebellion yes. against reading, hearing, and keeping these commandments. Yes, sir. But look, check this out, brother. Several rebels knew truth and was doing well before they rebelled. Look at Satan. Doing real good. And look, another thing, one more thing before you grab it, brother James. When you yes, uh, uh, deal with the low, uh, you get good health. That comes from the Lord. You get some money. You get some good wealth. That comes from the Lord. Get, uh, uh, they bless you with that. You get positions in the world on your job, running businesses. That comes from the Lord. Some people use all that good health, good strength that the Lord blessed them with to rebel. And some of them know the truth, and the Lord done set them so. Just like Satan, he knew what was good and went against it. Ain't that something? So that's yes, something really. about that we don't want to deal with because the Lord blessing us too to understand his word and be on these uh, uh listening in on these teachers. But go ahead, brother James, go and pick it up there. Hey, brother Sid, uh, you came out the gate with some good stuff, and I'm glad you started right there with that revelation one and three, with that three piece it gave us out of verse three. Okay. So look, the Lord said you blessed because if you don't hear these words and do these words. You're in trouble. And if you hear them and don't do them, you in more trouble. You a rebel because you are operating against information that you have learned. That's like going on the side of a house and there's five hungry pit bulls around there and they mad at the world. And you know they over there and you're going to go around there. Okay? You putting yourself in that trouble, all right? So look, let's go and put Jesus on the witness stand real quick, okay? Let's go and hit this John chapter 8 and start at verse 37. John 8 and 37. Rebels not allowed. You will get your head split in this life, and then you will get put in that lake of fire at the end of this life. You looking for double trouble, okay? A two-piece right there, if you will, okay? So look. Let's go hit John chapter 8, and let's pick it up at verse 37, my brother. And Jesus talking to these brothers, and let's see what he's going to say to them. 8 and 37. Go ahead and read it. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. You see that, brother? See, see that's what you was touching on. The word of God have no place in them. And rebels don't even like you to bring the book out. Okay? Oh. Go ahead and read. I speak that which I have seen with my father. Mm -hmm. And ye do that which ye have seen with your father. So wait a minute. So clearly, we talking two different fathers here, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Look at what that say, Brother Rashad. Jesus yes. said, hey, he say, I speak that which I have seen of my father, right? And you do with that, that which you have seen with your father. Yes. Mine and yours is two different things here, clearly. <laughs> Go ahead and read. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Mm -hmm. Jesus saith unto him, <laughs> unto them, if ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. You see that? Look, Jesus said, if, if you was Abraham's, you would do the work of Abraham. Your, your actions is showing that you, you don't know nothing about Abraham, okay? But go ahead and read. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. Abraham didn't go around killing a, a man of God, did he? Did no, he, brother, no. see it? Huh? No. See, this is what Jesus tells them. Clearly, Abraham's not your father. Mm -hmm. By blood he is, but spiritually, no, sir. 
Go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. Ye do the deeds of your father. Okay. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even God. Oh, that's what you think? Let's keep reading. Go ahead. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, ye would love me. Mm -hmm. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. You see that, brothers and sisters? Jesus said, if the father, if you love him, okay, then you deal with me properly, okay? Mm -hmm. He said, he sent me. Go ahead and read, brother. 43. Why do ye not understand my speech? Mm -hmm. Because ye cannot hear my word. Mm -hmm. Ye are of your father, the devil. Oh, so that's who their father is. That's who these they're doing. Why? Because they are rebels. He was a rebel. And they're doing what their daddy did. Okay? Go ahead and read, brother. And the lust of your father ye will do. Look here. He's your father and you're going to do everything he did. Go ahead and read. He was a murderer from the beginning. Yes, and sir. a not in the truth. Because mm. there is no truth in him. Go ahead. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And then you do some lying too, rebels. One more verse, brother. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Uh-huh, y'all see that? And, and not, not only do they not believe you, they don't even want you saying the truth, to be honest mm. with you. They don't even want you talking about it. So look, let's go hit Numbers chapter 20. Numbers 20. Hey, okay? man. Huh? These what brothers, you man, they come. Man, they cover with a covering, but not of the Lord's spirit. That's why they were talking to him like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They covered, but not with the Lord's spirit. And they take but, counsel. Hey. And they take counsel. Yep. But not, but him. not from and the Lord. Check this out. He said that they, uh, 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 Brother James, he said that they, see, they father covered him. Like you said, they father and our father are two different fathers. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. They father, I got you covered. I got you covered. But then he, he skipped out when the Lord show up. Right. Exactly. Hmm. So look, let's go hit this Numbers 20. And we're going to pick it up at verse 7. Numbers 20 and verse 7. Go ahead and read it, brother. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, mm -hmm. Take the rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, mm -hmm. and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. Yes. And it shall give forth his water, and thou shalt bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt give the congregation of their beasts drink. And so the Lord drink. told Moses, all you, all I want you to do is speak to that rock, Moses. That's it, right? Go ahead and read. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord as he commanded him. Mm -hmm. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, hear now, ye rebels. <laughs> Must we fetch you water out of this rock? What did Moses call them? <laughs> ye rebels. Rebels. He called them rebels. Go ahead and read, brother. 11. And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod, he smote the rock twice. Mm -hmm. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. Now, Moses got in some trouble for hitting that rock, because his instruction was to only speak to speak. it. But <laughs> the rebels will get you off your square, what and that's why say? we have to be careful. Everybody have to be careful. A rebel will get you off your square, man. So you got to be careful. But now Moses made the Lord mad by hitting that rock. But the Lord didn't say nothing about him calling them rebels. Because he didn't tell one lie on that one. Did he say it? Nah. Did, did he tell a lie on that one, brother said? No, sir. He didn't tell no lie on that one, okay? So look, let's go hit our next spot. Let's go and hit Deuteronomy chapter 1. Moses didn't tell one lie on Israel. They were some rebels. Deuteronomy 1 and 30. 1 and 30. 1 and verse 30. Let's see if Moses lied when he called them rebels. Hmm. 1 and 30. Go ahead and read it, brother. The Lord your God, which goeth before you, mm -hmm. he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Yes. And in the wilderness, where thou hast seen how that the Lord that thy God bear thee, as a man doth bear his son, and all the way that ye went until ye came into this place. Mm -hmm. Yet in this thing 
ye did not believe the Lord your God. Y'all see that? See, Brother Sidney, all them spots you hit, we were talking about that, okay? Mm -hmm. Talking about mm -hmm. Isaiah 65, you were smoking his nose. And Isaiah 30, mm -hmm. you call, he called them a rebellious people, okay? Right. So look, he said, yet in this thing, you did not believe the Lord your God, a lack of faith. Go ahead and read, brother. 33, who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tents in, in fire by night, to show you by what way ye should go, and in a cloud by day. The Lord said, I was out there in a pillar of fire at nighttime to give you light. Hey, you want to talk about the probably some early years of some street lights? The Lord, okay? Yes. He gave Israel street lights. You know what I'm saying? Hey, just mm -hmm. like when you look at New Jerusalem, his presence going to light that whole place up. Say there'd be no need of the sun now. Because he's lighting it up. And he lit things up for them at nighttime. And in the daytime, he didn't have to be a light. He just moved around with them in a pillar of a cloud, okay? Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. right there with them. And they still had rebels among them. But go ahead and read, bro. 34. And the Lord <clears throat> heard the voice of your words and was wroth and swear, saying... Surely there should not one of these men of this evil generation see that good land which I swear to give unto your fathers. Go ahead. Say, Caleb, the son of Jephune, he shall see it, and to him will I give the land that he shall trot in upon, and to his children, because he hath wholly followed the Lord. Why is he going to give it to him like that, brother? Because he hath wholly followed the Lord. Not a third of the way, but wholly, wholly. not a quarter. Go ahead and read. Also, the Lord was angry with me for your sake, saying, Thou shalt not go in thither. Go ahead. But Joshua, the son of Nun, which standeth before thee, he shall go in thither. Mm -hmm. Encourage him, for he shall cause Israel to inherit it. Go ahead. Moreover, your little ones, which ye say should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, mm -hmm. they shall go in thither. And unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. So now we just running this thing down now. But go ahead and continue, verse 40. But as for you, turn you, and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Then he answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. Uh -huh. And when ye had girded on every man his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up into the hill. So now they ready to go up and fight. And they said, hey, we have sinned against the Lord. But guess what? You have rebelled against him. Let's see how he treat those rebels. Go ahead and read, brother. 42. And the Lord said unto me, say unto them, go not up, neither fight. Now look I... the Lord, so, hold on. so the Lord said, Moses, tell him not to go up there. Mm -hmm. Moses, stop him. Tell him, pump the brakes. He said, don't go up there and don't fight. And why did he say that, brother? Go ahead and read. For I am not among you. He said, because I'm not with you, you rebels. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Lest ye be smitten before your enemies. Because the only way the Lord is an enemy to your enemies, from what I have read, is if your ways please him and you keep his command. Teach. Yes. I can read that. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and read, yes. brother. So I spake unto you, and ye would not hear, uh -huh. but rebelled against the commandment of the Lord. Do we see these brothers and sisters? He rebelled. They rebelled. And, and, and guess what? Go ahead and continue, brother. Against the commandment of the Lord, and went presumptuously up into the hill. You see that? They were mighty presumptuous, were they not? Yes. They went on up anyway. Go ahead and read. 44. And the Amorites, which dwelt in that mountain, came out against you and chased you as bees do. Mm -hmm. and destroyed you and say here, even unto Hormah. Go ahead. And you returned and wept before the Lord. But the Lord would not hearken to your voice, nor give ear unto you. You see that? See, the only thing rebels understand now is a broke jawbone. <laughs> and, and, and in your rebellion, that's all you're going to get. Broke jawbone after broken jawbone, punishment mm. after punishment, but you still won't turn. Right. These right. people were rebels. So we see that when in, in, in numbers where Moses called them rebels, he didn't tell no lie. They rebelled against mm. the Lord right here. They were rebels. But look, let's go and hit 
Numbers 32. And after this, I'm going to slide the mic back over to Brother City. Numbers 32. Loaded with rebels, okay? 32 and 11, my brother. Look, they went up there against the Amorites and got broke off, okay? Huh. Come back with a broke job on, oh, Lord, we've seen it. Lord have mercy. He did. He said, Moses, tell them pump the brakes. Don't go up there because you mm. naked. Huh? Mm. Mm -hmm. 32, my brother. Numbers 32 and verse 11. Go ahead and read that. Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt from 20 years old and upward shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, because they have not wholly followed me. So, brother, see, you made a statement. You said you ain't the rebels are, are not even gonna get into the Lord's kingdom. Didn't you say that, brother? See? And look, and we right. don't need that. But look, the promised land symbolically was like the kingdom of God. You got yes. to work to get in it, and you got to obey God to get in it. And just to go to right. show you how sensitive the Lord is to this, his 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 intercessor couldn't even get in there. But disobeying him, as we read in Numbers 20. Huh? The intercessor. In the Bible, so he was the meekest man on the earth. And he couldn't get in because he, he didn't follow instructions. Israel, you let no. him. Hey, that's the, fear of, that's the fear of the Lord, brother. We better be careful, man. Hey, I, hey intercessor. You have you. If you have ears to hear, brothers and sisters, you better hear what we read to you tonight now. He didn't let the intercessor get in because he didn't follow those instructions. And he rebelled that one moment and couldn't get into the land. The promised land is just like the kingdom. You, They rebelled. They couldn't get in the promised land. You rebelled. You're not going to get in the promised land. And the Lord had promised you. He promised you eternal life, didn't he? If you do what he said. So you won't get that promise. Teach, brother. Teach. We just warning hey, y'all now. That's all we doing hey, here. Brother Rashad, mm -hmm. I got some extra ears on with the Bluetooth, brother. I got the Bluetooth ears listening to that, brother. Yes, yes sir. sir. So, brother Rashad, what verse was that? We at the top of 12. Read that 11 one more time, then go on in the 12. Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. Surely none of the men that came up out of Egypt from 20 years old and upward shall see the land which I swear unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob because they have not wholly followed me. There it is again. See, that halfway following ain't nothing. If you're going to halfway follow, quarter of the way follow, one-tenth of the follow, why are you following anyway? Because you're getting the same punishment. You're going to get the same reward as the full-time sinner is going to get. At least that person is getting all these uh, earthly, uh, 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 fleshly pleasures out of it. In their mind, maybe it'll be worth it. But you have way doing it. You're wasting your time. Mm. Go ahead and read, bro. 12. Save yep. Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, mm -hmm. and Joshua, the son of Nun. For they have wholly followed the Lord. With their whole hearts, with their whole mind, brothers. That's what we're pointing out here. You have to do this thing all the way or, or nothing at all. You have to do this all the way. You either warm or you're cold. One more verse, brother. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness 40 years. He made them wander around 40 years. He made them wander around one year for every day they murmured against him. Wow. They murmured against him 40 days. He made them wander for 40 years. So if you walked out of Egypt and you was 14 years old, and if you were so blessed to make it to the land, you walked in the land at the age of 54 years old because you had to walk around in that desert because your, because your parents and the, the elders around you rebelled against the Lord. Okay, go ahead and read, brother. In the wilderness 40 years until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. Until every one of them died. The only ones made it in. As a, uh, as a grown-up that came out of Egypt with Joshua and Caleb, brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, the Lord didn't let the rebels get into the promised land, and he ain't gonna let he ain't gonna let rebels get into his promised kingdom where salvation and eternal life rests, okay? Mm. 
He's not going to let you get in. You better take heed. I'm going to land right there for the moment, slide it back over to Brother Sidney. What you got, brother? Oh, yeah, Israel. So, man, I was uh, loving what you was bringing there. I was all into it. Praise God, brother. Yes, Almost man. wasn't ready to pick it back up. But look, man, that, uh, <laughs> man, hey, if the intercessor. Ooh, could he, get uh, in. The Lord show you that, hey, man, he, he, show, he ain't playing. Like you said, how sensitive this thing is. So right. um, we're going to pick it back up. And I like that Deuteronomy 1 when you was hitting on where, hey, man, they didn't believe on the Lord. They God, brother, that belief. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at that in, the, in the here, too, because. That's part of rebelling if you do not believe. Like I said, right. you go against righteousness, peace, love, holiness, and belief. But now, mm -hmm. let's go into Psalm 78, man, and get, a, get another view on what the Lord was saying. Psalm 78, and then I want you to pick it up at verse 5, my brother. Psalm 78, and then pick it up at verse 5. Once you get it, go ahead. For he established a testimony in Jacob. And appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. Uh huh. That the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born, who should arise and declare them to their children. Yes. Now, you read something like this earlier today when you read that Psalms 80, right? Mm -hmm. Talking about, hey, he appointed a statue and a law in Israel, man. Yes, but go sir. ahead and read. That they might set their hope in God. And not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. See that, man? It said <laughs> the Lord doing this and, and set this law up to teach your children, for you to learn it and teach your children and the children to teach the children's children to all these generations, brother, that mm -hmm. they might set their hope on God. And don't rebel and not forget his works. Because if you forget his works, you're going to be on the rebellion side, man. Hmm. You're gonna be against this thing because you ain't gonna know what the Lord is doing. I don't understand that. That don't make sense. Mm -hmm. That ain't how my grandmother or my preacher told me. So, <laughs> but it's gonna be rebel, it's gonna be rebellion, yes, and it's sir. gonna be sin indeed. Because the Lord said you're gonna forget his works and you ain't gonna keep his commandments. And who did Satan in Revelation 12? We gotta look at who Satan came after, Brother James. He, he said he Go ahead. Did you see the whole world? Then he dropped down and said he came after those who uh, uh, um, have the, uh, the uh, saints, uh, uh, the testimony, the saints who have the testimony and, and the keep the commandments of God. That's who he went after. Yes, sir. So the ones that wasn't keeping the commandments, he didn't go after them. Nope, he didn't have to. Even today, he didn't raise the problem. Look, see, if you on your way to class on the Sabbath, right? Uh -huh. You just say it's 11 15, you're on your way to class. You pass yeah. by some brothers at the car wash. You pass by another brother with the lawnmower out cutting his yard. Satan don't have right. to bother those guys. Because they already they rebelling know. against the law. <laughs> they are already polluting the Sabbath. He don't have to bother them. He's coming after you. He's coming after those, brother Rashad. Yes, sir. Those that keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. If you, yeah, Satan is that's who he's dealing with. If you, if you good with that, he your father or he on your side because you not keeping the law, right? But then the Lord, now you are smoking gods though. See, man, you better play this thing like they say, play your cards right, man. You better, you better know when to hold and when to fold, bro. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> but you, but you better not like gamble the... at all. Really, you shouldn't gamble at all. Right, right. It's not dealing you... from the bottom of the deck, Israel. Be Look here, man. You better make your call and sure. That's what you should be working on. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, no rebellion. No rebels, right. man. <laughs> right. That's a good song, Jay. Hey, what... <laughs> hey, didn't the lady sing "No Scrub"? We need a song, no rebels. No yeah. rebels. <laughs> I get, get into the kingdom with me. Hang How on. about that? No. <laughs> hey, hey rebels, that brother can rebels, do a song, rebels, man. Rebels, man. Rebels, do a song, man. Come on, man. Yeah, let's no <laughs> rebels. Don't put him on the spot, see it. Oh, man, I'm trying to. But, hey, 
it's for us too, brother. Now that I'm talking this, that's why I said this thing here, you got to stay on point because we're going to see something in this lesson before it's over with that I get. It's yeah. going to show you, hey, man, stay on point, stay alert, like James hit on earlier, because this thing will creep up on you, and like you said, they'll make you rebel. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Look what that next verse say, uh, uh, Brother Shai. Go ahead. Brother Shai, I'm having fun, man. Verse 8. <laughs> it might not be as their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation. A generation that set not their heart aright and whose spirit was not steadfast with God. See that here we go. That that work them works, that attitude, that spirit, brother. Because see, the Lord said, listen to this law, keep these commandments, so you won't not the Lord tell you, so you won't be stubborn and rebellious, because I'm gonna cast you off forever. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and you won't be like this generation that didn't set their heart right because he has started in that mind. That's why Satan, in his heart, he said, I'm a sin above God. Some people just say it in their mind, bro. Man, I, hey, man, look, I'm going to live my life how I do it. They might not speak it out loud, but it's in their mind. You're rebelling in the mind, man. That's where it's going to start at. And it said, whose spirit was not steadfast with their God similar to what you read earlier how they fought wholly followed the lord now let's go to uh romans 16. romans 16. yes y'all uh, uh getting some understanding on this thing people hopefully they got yes and i hope you scared <laughs> yes sir i know i am brother i ain't I, hey man I, this thing is fearful Hey, hey, see, the books say fear is the per fear of God is the perfection of holiness, man. Yes. Yes, sir. See, and, and if you don't fear, hey, you walk around all confident like you got it going on, like you ain't flesh. You better stop playing with yourself. Let's go to this uh, 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 Romans 16 and verse 17, my brother. Look what this say. Go ahead. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to put that on the comments the other minute, man. She said, avoid them. Get out, <laughs> go the other way. <laughs> go around them. Because right. they say avoid them because they, they did they do you like they did Moses and make you slip and trip and fall off. But look, he said, uh, uh, contrary to the What's a contrary, brother? That's a rebel. Mm -hmm. Opposite way. You're going against this thing. You're going contrary to the truth, to yes. righteousness, to love. When you go contrary to love, what else you going to land up on? Trouble, brother. Trouble, anguish, pain, and woe. Go ahead and read. 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly. Mm. And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. You see that, man? He say they don't serve the Lord. These people, man, they rebel. They rebels. They going contrary to the doctrine right. of Jesus. And they right. contrary to Jesus Christ. Right. That's why they say, get him out the way, man. Nobody yeah. want to cause the Holy One. Who is the Holy One in Israel? The only Jesus? Holy One on Israel. Yes, yes. But see, you just you, read the book say avoid people like that, brother. Avoid oh, it. Hey, I'm not about to have no fellowship. I'm not going to no parties with you. I ain't going to the game with you and sitting next to the seat with you and eating popcorn and going to the movie theaters and none of this stuff, man. And going bowling and, you know, hey, it's over. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But, hey, I chopped this word up with you if you want to hear. If that's what you said. What you said. Because don't cut them off because they rebels could turn to wheat. And some rebels have, and some of us were some rebels. And I was totally against this thing in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hit no book either. Mm. But the Lord was merciful. Now, yes, but look who get deceived, the simple ones. Mm -hmm. Love simplicity. No, nah, man. Get in this book, study, and show yourself approved. Now we gonna uh, uh, skip over to Ezekiel. I mean, not Ezekiel, Second Peter. 
Second Peter chapter two. Second Peter chapter two. The book tell you, hey, the Lord gonna bruise Satan under your feet shortly if you stay on this thing. Cause he he trying to deal with the service, but the Lord is with us who 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 live this thing and keep it and hear it. Now let's go to Second Peter two, and then pick it up in verse four, my brother. When you get it, go ahead. For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. And now, spared don't that sound um? Don't that sound like kind of scary, man? If God spared not them angels that sin, who was ministering spirits, they was created almost. They even though they got a mind too, you could tell, but. They more uh, uh, seem like more to be a little more robotic than man. Man got free thought, free work, free will. But them angels were created to be ministering spirits to just, yes, hey, serve, serve, do this. Man was created to rule. Go ahead and read, though. Five. And spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, Bringing in the flood mm -hmm. upon the world of the ungodly, and turning it, oh. and turning. Oh. Keep going. Somebody went on. James. Yeah, go ahead. Keep going. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example to those that after should live ungodly. Afterwards, who would rebel against this good thing? Who live ungodly? That's who rebel at people living ungodly. You rebel against godliness, where you going to land up at? Ungodliness. And how do rebels live? Ungodly. Mm -hmm. skip, skip down to verse 8 and continue. For that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Now, that righteous man dwelling among them, seeing and hearing, righteous man dwelling among them, them, seeing and hearing, Yep. From day to day, they're mm -hmm. unlawful deeds. That's the problem. Going against the laws of God, having unlawful works, unlawful deeds, and covering with a covering, but not of the Lord's spirit. Go skip down to verse 18 and continue. For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lust of the flesh, through much wantonness, those that were clean escape from them who live in error. Now, check this out. It said, for they speak great swelling words of that smooth, big words. You need a dictionary and, and your phone on hand to type in some of the words that they use because they have men's admiration in, in, in person. So people, ooh, they, man, they real intelligent. They, they understand great things. Mm -hmm. Great swelling words of vanity. God is not a vain God. Go ahead and read. 19. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. Mm -hmm. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. Mm -hmm. Now, see, while they promise, see, you got people living like this, even among the world, promising people this and that and you this, and but they the service of corruption. Mm. Look at... uh. Uh, 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 that king that promised uh, Daniel to be uh, the second ruler in the kingdom, uh, never, uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar's son, mm. Belshazzar. Belshazzar. Yeah. Belshazzar. Belshazzar died that same night, brother, that he was drinking yeah. wine. And but he promised uh, uh, Daniel, you're gonna be the third ruler in the kingdom, but like mm -hmm. he has some power, like he's about to be around, right? He got the Lord clipped him the same night, man, yep. that day. Yep. Yep. But while they promise people liberty, they themselves dealing with corruption. Right. Teach. You better watch your setups and watch your friends who are sad with you when you decide to transgress the law and they OK with it. Well, sister, well, brother, I understand what you're dealing with and stuff. I understand that. Uh, yeah. Your uh, 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 your wife making you mad, brother. And that sister was smiling at you the other day. <laughs> yeah, brother, I understand. If you wind up at our house and kiss her. Smooth things. <laughs> Smooth and be in. That's your friend? <laughs> it didn't tell you. 
No, the Lord will deal with you harshly if you fool around. But go ahead and read. 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. See, man, if you escape this, see, that's what I said earlier. It's people that have escaped the pollutions and known the truth. And in this word, following holiness and righteousness, and then get pulled back into the world by some rebel mm -hmm. who speak a smooth word. Don't be fooled. Look at that. Tyshia. Don't be fooled. Don't get, don't slip. Don't lose your crown. Mm -hmm. Don't get yourself cast off and be, as a rebel. Go ahead and read that last one, verse 21. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. That's why I said I hope great fear is on you with this thing. Because this, like Brother James, it's very sensitive, man. The Lord about to kill Moses for not circumcising his son, not letting them get into the kingdom for, for dealing against his word. Stay on the word of the Lord. But also in that verse 21, what I see, Brother James, is yeah. to know the way of righteousness, you have learned about the holy commandments and been dealing with them, brother, in order to know what righteousness is all about. And if you turn from that, it's better for that man not to have been born. You see that? Yes, sir. I see that. True indeed. Good I land speaking. right there, Israel. Yes, sir. Well, look, brother Sid, let's go hit this Ezekiel chapter 9. And I want to show y'all something because I had to show this to my daughter a long time ago. Look, see, in that verse 18 in 2 Peter, at the end of that verse, check this out. It says, those that were clean escaped from them who live in error. Because remember, you just read that Romans 16. It says, mark those kind of people and avoid those people. In this verse, it says, those that were clean escape from those who live in error. Because if you don't escape from them, when you get down here to verse 20, it says, look. Uh, 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 for if after they have escaped the pollution of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again. By steadily hanging out with them rebels, you are again entangled therein and are overcome. And then your latter end is worse uh, with them than in the beginning. Beginning. Uh, you see that? It's scary. You get away from the rebels because I'm about to show you what hanging out with them and taking pleasure in them is going to get you. Let's hit that Ezekiel mm -hmm. 9 and 1. Ezekiel 9 and 1. Nine and one, my brother, go ahead and read it. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice, saying, mm -hmm. Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near. Yeah, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. Mm -hmm. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lie up toward the north, and every man a slaughter weapon in his hand. Yeah, what in his hand? A slaughter weapon. Uh oh, it's about to go down. <laughs> go ahead and read. And one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's inkhorn by his side. Yeah. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. Mm -hmm. And the glory of the and the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. Uh-huh. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. The Lord said unto him, Hold on, to the Rashad. Watch this here, y'all. Pay a close, pay close attention to the instructions that the Lord is going to give the angel with the writer's ink on. Now, the rest of them got slaughter weapons. Go ahead and read. Four. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So look, the Lord says set a mark on the people that have separated themselves from the rebels. They have an issue with what's going on, with all the sin and abomination that's going on, because the rebels are the ones that's doing it. Yes. He said, put a mark on these people that have a problem with the things they're seeing. He didn't say, 
put a mark on the people that have a problem with the sin and then put a mark on the people that's not doing the sin. Mm -hmm. He say put a mark on the people that got a problem with it. Because mm -hmm. you can have somebody who's not doing it, but they haven't separated themselves from the rebels. Come they on, still bro. take mm -hmm. pleasure in hanging out with the rebels. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y'all got mm -hmm. to pay attention to what the Lord told this angel now. He said, right. put the mark on the foreheads of the one that sigh and cry for all these abominations going on. Just like we look in the world now. You can't even watch a commercial without seeing a dude all up on another dude. You can't go out in public with, without seeing a man dressed in women's clothes. Or, or, or I'm going to tell you something. I'm in the airport today and a dude in front of me. Man, let me tell you something. If you a grown man, I don't know what make you think it's okay to wear some pants that I still, you got pants go down to your ankles and I know how big your calves are. Why you got <laughs> pants on that tight, brother? Huh? What? Why? You got capris on, you got pants skin tight from your ankle all the way up. Man, come on. But anyway, Ooh. the Lord nice. said, put a mark <laughs> on the ones that have a problem with all the rebellion, with all the sin, with all the abomination. If you just got a problem with it, the Lord say, put a mark on them people so I'll see them when I come through, and then we're going to save those people. But the people who didn't mark the problem makers and, and, and abort them, but the people who didn't uh, uh, free themselves from hanging out with the rebels, they're going to get the same thing the rebels get. Keep on reading, brother. Let's watch and see. Go ahead and read. Five. Yeah. And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, mm -hmm. <clears throat> go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pit. So look, so he told them other angels, look, y'all, after the, after the one with the writer's ink horn finished, I want y'all to go through the city and start killing people. And then he told them, don't have any pity, okay? He said, don't you have no pity. Just go through there and smite. Let's see who they gonna smite. Smite, go ahead and read, brother. Slay utterly, old and young. Uh-huh. Both maids and little children. And Wait a minute, the little, the little babies? The little babies. Go ahead and read. And women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Mm, so the Lord say, listen, you kill everybody that that does not have that mark on their head because they are okay with what we see go on out here. They are the ones that's okay with all this political correctness that we even seeing right now. They okay with it. They are okay with it. What verse was that, brother? We had mid six. Go ahead and read. And begin at my sanctuary. Begin where, brother? At my sanctuary. Go ahead and read. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. Uh-huh. And he said unto them, defile the house. Yeah. And fill the courts with the slain. Uh -huh. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. He say, fill the house with the dead bodies. Go ahead and read, brother. Eight. And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried and said, Ah, oh, Lord God, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Uh-huh. Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, yes. and the land is full of blood. Mm -hmm. And the city full of perverseness. Yes. For they say, the Lord hath forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. Go ahead, brother. And as for me also, mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. I want y'all to understand something. I'm trying to shine a light on the fact uh, from these verses right here that the Lord say, put the mark on the ones that have a problem with what's going on. They don't like all the sinning that they see. So mm -hmm. you could have people that's not doing the sin, but it's okay with the other people doing it. 
It's like mm -hmm. in, in, in Romans 1, he talk about, or oh, I think that's in Romans 1, he said, hey, you, you, you take pleasure in right. these people doing these unrighteous things. If you take pleasure in the unrighteous people, you are just as guilty, brothers and sisters. So, 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 so go ahead and read, brother. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, mm -hmm. I have done as thou hast commanded me. Yes, sir. And he mm -hmm. went right through there with no pity and went right through there busting heads, just like the Lord told him to, because the Lord is no respect of persons. Mm -hmm. You either going to play by his rules or you're or not, not going to play at all. OK, so look. Let's go and hit the next spot. Let's go hit this first Samuel 15 because the Lord don't like that rebellion. Okay. He does not like rebellion, brothers and sisters. And if you are a rebel, you will not be allowed to get to uh to get into the Lord's kingdom. Okay. You you will not get into the Lord's kingdom, plain and simple. So, like, watch this here. So, we're gonna go hit our next spot. Let's hit our next spot. Uh, 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 first Samuel, brothers and sisters. First Samuel 15, and we just want one verse, verse 23. Actually, it's in the lesson, but I, I think I've seen this coming up there two or three times tonight, brother. Yes, sir. I've mm -hmm. seen this coming up there two or three times, but I say we're going to deal with it. Read that one mm. verse, please, brother. So I wouldn't say. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Ooh, we go ahead, brother. And stubbornness is mm -hmm. as iniquity and idolatry. Ooh. Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, mm. he has also rejected thee from being king. So he was talking to Saul right here. But I went here to point out that rebellion thing is as the sin of witchcraft. Do you see this, brothers and sisters? Not good. When you rebel against God, it's, it's just as you a witch. It's, hey, man. Yes, sir, brother. You see, you see that? You see that Saul right there, brother? And he knew this truth. He yes. was the king, brother. Yes, sir. He knew this truth. And the Lord uh, uh, had it with, a, with the king copy out a, 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 the, the law of Moses and yeah. all that, brother. So he knew this thing, and he went and dealt with that and, and rebelled, man. You see that? And look yeah, how the Lord look, dealt with him. He said he prophesied with the prophets. The Lord put his hey, spirit brother. on this brother. He understood this thing, man, and he went against it. He rebelled. He was without excuse. In other words, what you're trying to say, Brother C. And he knew it, man. He failed, man. That's why this thing, he he was the king in Israel, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The he Lord chose him excuse. and blessed him. Yeah, anointed him. Hey, but the check this out, too. Yep. And anointed him. And but check this out. He rejected that word. And the Lord said also that stubbornness, brother. Is like I like you worshiping idol gods, brother. Like you got the crosses on your neck and all this, brother. And, yes, and worshiping the star and all that, brother. Just if, we, if you if you stubborn, see how many Israel get stubborn sometimes. Yeah, but but look, see, we gonna show them if, if rebellion is as witchcraft. We gonna show you how how much God hate witchcraft. Okay, let's go and hit Jeremiah chapter twenty eight. Let's go show you how much he hate witchcraft, okay? Jeremiah. And if you stubborn, huh? And if you stubborn, you, if you stubborn, you rebelling too, because yes, the Lord say, "Be humble and meek." Yes. Yes. Before honor is humility. You better. You better. You better. Yes. You better obey the word of God, because the Lord said, "Uh, obedience is, is better than sacrifice." Okay. Yes. yes. Look, Jeremiah twenty-eight and nine, my brother. Uh, 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 watch this. Go ahead and read it. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord hath truly sent him. Uh huh. Then Hananiah the prophet took the yoke from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and brake mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And Hananiah spake in the presence of all the people, saying, Thus saith the Lord, 
Even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, from the neck of all nations within the space of two full years. Y'all watch this, brothers and sisters. This guy, Hananiah, think he a prophet of the Lord and say the Lord is going to break the yoke of Babylon within two years. Hey, where you get that information from, Hananiah? Because the Lord <laughs> told Jeremiah to Israel, Nebuchadnezzar getting ready to come down here. And everybody gonna serve him and his son and son's son. Didn't the book say that, brother Sidney? So, so this brother yes, was a false prophet, right? Go ahead and read. And eleven. <laughs> and the prophet Jeremiah went his way. Mm -hmm. Then the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah the prophet. After that, Hananiah the prophet had broken the yoke from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah, saying, mm -hmm. "Go and tell Hananiah, saying, the say of the Lord." Now the now, Lord to say, Jeremiah, go tell Hananiah what I'm saying right here. Go ahead and read. Yes. Thou hast broken the yokes of wood, but thou shalt make for them yokes of iron. Go ahead. For thus said the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. And they shall serve him. And I have given him the beasts of the field also. So the Lord said, Jeremiah, go tell this guy that he don't know what he's talking about. Right. Because, because <laughs> I'm giving I'm giving control of all these nations into the hands of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. Go ahead and read, brother. Yes. Then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet, <laughs> Here now, Hananiah, the Lord have not sent thee. Y'all see hey, that? Now. Hey, the Lord didn't send you, brother. You prophesying out of your own imagination. Go ahead and read. The Lord hath not sent thee, but thou makest this people to trust in a lie. See, a rebel can do that. A rebel can do that now. They can make you believe a lie, man. Okay? Go ahead and read. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will cast thee from off the face of the earth. This year thou shalt die. Wait a the minute. Yeah. The Lord told Jeremiah to tell Hananiah, you false prophet. I'm going to cast you off the face of the earth this year. Okay? Mm. Go ahead and read. This year thou shalt die because thou hast taught rebellion against the Lord. Not only are you a rebel, you out here teaching rebellion. And you're going to die this year. That's what the Lord told Jeremiah to tell this rebellious brother. One more verse, brother. What did it say? Yeah. So Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month how about that hey the lord don't like rebellious sinners because they are like witches rebellion is as witchcraft and if you don't believe that i'm gonna hit this one more spot i'm gonna land i'm gonna give brother uh sydney the mic back let's go in exodus 22 my brother let's hit exodus 22 and one verse verse 18 22 and 18 the lord say tell this rebellious brother that he's going to die this year. And the brother died in the seventh month. How about that? 22 mm -hmm. and 18, my brother. Exodus 22 and 18. <clears throat> Go ahead and read that. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Y'all see that one? Yes. If the Lord telling you sin, in re he said rebellion is as sin of witchcraft. And then he told this rebellious brother, you're going to die this year. And then he told him right here, don't even let the witch live. Cage. So if you rebelling against God, your days are numbered. And if I were you, I would repent. I would change my ways. And I would try with having access to the words we're reading tonight. And having access to being taught the truth and having this Bible and getting some wisdom and some understanding, I will try my best to try to line my life up with the Lord. I will try my best to understand what we read and to get some fear because when you plan around, you plan with your life. You plan with your life, brothers and sisters, if you rebelling against the Lord and His Word. Okay, I'm gonna land right there for the moment. What you got, brother Sidney? Hey man, don't play with your life, brother. Don't play don't with your do life. It. It's, 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 he, it's, he playing with eternal life. Right. Don't do it. And the rebels have you. And who the chief rebel? Satan. Yes, sir. As he told the Pharisee, that's your father. You do what your father doing. All right. 
hey, he had people playing with their eternal life and salvation, brother. Mm -hmm. And yes, salvation on the line. You uh, 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 people say, well, I just did this little transgression. And why you say it's salvation? Because your salvation on the line, because the Lord told you don't do it. Right. If you do do it, it's your salvation on the line. What else you got to trade? <laughs> mm. Nothing. So, <laughs> no. Hey, man. Hey, what you gonna trade with the Lord, brother Sidney, that he that he owns already? Everything you have is his. Your shirt is his. Your socks are his. Your money is his. Your house is his. That car is his. Them shingles on your roof belong to him. What mm. you gonna trade him? The only thing you can give God is righteousness and obedience. That's it. Your, your service, brother. Your reasonable service. Uh, that uh, is uh, all. Uh, your life supposed to be a living sacrifice, which is your reasonable service, brother. That's what the Lord looking for. Yes, sir. That's and it. If, if you do that, you do well. But now, let's go into Jeremiah chapter 5. Let's roll back to Jeremiah chapter 5. That was good teaching, brother. Good teaching. Praise the Lord. The word. So, Yes, sir. And then uh, 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 you was bringing how he taught rebellion against the Lord. Yes. Look what this say, brother. Verse 23, 5, Jeremiah 5 and 23. Go ahead. But this people have a revolting and a rebellious heart. Mm. They are revolted mm. and gone. See, this is somebody that's been taught rebellion, brother. Ooh. This is somebody that know the Lord said, you got to, you just, you just contrary to everything I'm giving you. You revolting mm -hmm. and rebelling. Your heart, your mind is far from the Lord. Because these people, they think they holy. They say, we holy. Look at Dathan and Korah, brother. Mm -hmm. he told Moses, we all holy. But the Lord opened up the earth and swallowed them up. Yes, sir. But they talk with their mouth that they was holy. See, man, you got, that's why the sister, she made a quote on there. If wasn't nobody listening, that how People walking around confidently wrong. Yep. Mm. Yeah, she put a quote up there, brother. I saw it. She, 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 man, that was cold, man. Mm. People walking around. She said it's scary how people walking around, they confidently and they wrong. Mm -hmm. And you got a lot of people that think, see, that Lord say that people write in their own mind. They don't think nothing they doing is wrong unless you in this book, right? You know when you wrong. Mm-hmm. If this flesh go wrong often, you got to be careful and just pay attention to yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, yes, sir. Doing? Now, let's go uh, verse 24, brother. Go ahead. Neither say they in their heart, let us now fear the Lord our God, that giveth rain, both the former and the latter, in his season. He reserveth unto us the appointed weeks of their harvest. Man, this, this 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 scripture, this scripture is so uh uh um man. I mean, brother, you supposed to feel this, man. He said, need to say they in they heart. They in. let us fear the Lord now, man. Mm -hmm. I've been doing all this foolishness, thinking crazy. Let me fear God and do what's right. They don't even say that, brother. They revolted and gone, man. They yep. out of there. Go ahead and read though. Twenty-five. Your iniquities have turned away these things. And your sins have withholding good things from you. <laughs> Re rebellion Ooh. withhold good things for you. Rebellion, you're going to be a sinner and a transgressor. See, see, look, brother, see, look. It, it say your sin have withholding good things from you. See what we're telling you. Look, we already know at the end, if you don't change, you're going to die in your sin and you're going to go to that lake of fire. But even while you live in the Lord is you, you, you're gonna withhold good things just living in this regular life. You're gonna hide your car from the repo man. Mm. You you're gonna go check to check if you can make it check to check. You might go check to three days. Now you gotta borrow some money to get to the next check. Mm. You see, the, look, mm -hmm. the Lord gonna withhold good things from you because you a rebel. Yes. Hey man, it, it, it's just more beneficial to just line up with the word and, and keep it right there. And we're not just talking, y'all. We we're not just talking. We we have testimony that we can give you. All three of us. We, we, if people we tell some of this audience, by experience. Yes, sir. And we see people in the audience that can give you some testimonies too. Okay. We're yes, not sir. Just talking, but I'm and sorry, brother. Go ahead, brother. 
No, I'm glad you threw that in there, brother. That need to be heard. But look, he said the iniquities have turned these things from you, and your sins have withheld good things from you. But the Lord says it's a blessing if you read, hear it, and keep it. Yeah. But see, look, but brother, it's a sin if you don't read it, hear it, and keep it, brother. And with good things going to be withheld from you if you don't read it, hear it, and do it. Mm. Y'all see that? It said don't be That's why I said that. That's why I'm still springboarding off of that Revelations 1 coming in, right. here, man. Mm-hmm. You're going to be a re rebel and you're going to be sinning if you don't read it, hear it, and keep it. That's the blessing, man. The three Ps, brother. We yes, back sir. on the spicy. <laughs> Let's go to Deuteronomy 31. Dude, hey, man, this thing is hot, ain't it? Yes, sir. Hey, you know Israel like that spicy thing, man? Yeah, that boy. Oh, good, you gotta man. It's essential. <laughs> and and look, cayenne, it comes, cayenne pepper, that hot sauce. <laughs> and it comes with a little sweetness, too, man. You see that? Mm -hmm. The Lord throw that mercy in there, too. We show you the fear of the mercy, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like how you say, don't do like your fathers did. <laughs> and, and, and rebel. <laughs> say, hey, man, that's merciful for him yeah. to tell you that. Oh, okay. And what they mm -hmm. did. Dirty one. Uh, Deuteronomy 31 and 24. When you get it, go ahead. And it came to pass when Moses had made an end of writing <clears throat> the words of this law in a book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, saying, take this book of the law and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. That word, that covenant to be a witness for you. See that book of the law, brother. Uh, 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 write this thing. See, that's why the Lord said this thing written before me. And Moses say, "Hey, set this covenant up, because the Lord tell you what you're gonna get if you don't keep the covenant. You're gonna be a rebel." Go ahead and read. Mm -hmm. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have rebellion. Ye have been rebellious against the Lord. And how much more after my death? Look at that, man. You see what he said there, brother? He said, man, you have, I, see, he said, I know your rebellion and your stiff neck. And you have been rebellious against who? That's who the rebellion is against the Lord. Plain. Mm. And then the Lord started taking his mercy and taking that goodness away. Mm -hmm. And withholding good things from you because you're going against the word which is rebelling. Whether it be smooth or whether it be you know the truth and you just mm -hmm. decide you're going to do what you want to do. Because mm. sometimes that decision happens to people. Man, I, you know what? I don't feel like keeping the Sabbath this week. <laughs> I don't feel like. <laughs> oh, so we can do what you feel like? Yeah, that's what people go mm -hmm. by and oh. what make them happy. Mm -hmm. Everything Jesus walked in make them happy, but he did it. Right. Said, not my will, but that will be done, Father. Yes, sir. But now, see, this, but this verse, I want you to keep this as a chest pocket verse because it might not sound like it, but I guarantee you it is because this scripture, like what Moses said, it lets you know, don't get relaxed because this thing will creep up on you. He said, Look, man, I know your rebellion. That thing mm -hmm. will come up on you. Mm -hmm. See, you got to be careful. You got to, don't get. Look, man, sometimes the Lord, I think he keeps some people sick. Look at that woman, 18 years. Look at how high her faith was, brother, because she was sick all them years. You got to lean on them. See, when you're doing, that's why I said when you're doing well, sometimes you got the money jumping off good. The bank account status is looking right. Hmm. Your wardrobe looking sweet. Your car driving good. Everything well. <laughs> Sometimes that lead people to rebellion, but they use them blessings to re then the Lord start taking that good thing for then the car ain't working right. Mm. Then the lights get turned out. Yep. You sit it Then the heat get turned off and it's cold in the house. Then, is then the food shortage. Yeah. Your refrigerator lacking with the uh, groceries up in there. You look water. <laughs> <laughs> And lemon sugar in the <laughs> only sugar in the cabinet, man. 
It ain't no macaronis up here. But but hold on, see, sometimes that other father that Jesus told the Pharisees that they had, that father say he give out blessings too, man. Uh oh. Huh? So some uh -oh. people be thinking hey. because I got all these things. I'm already good with God. It's clear. It's obvious he's been blessing me. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Hey, Brother James, that's the Lord withholding good things from me if he lets Satan give you that thing. Yes, sir. Because that, because you're going to lose that. If mm. Satan give it to you, eventually you're going to lose it. It didn't come from the Lord. That's right, brother. Mm. You want the Lord to give you the good thing. And, and do what he say. But the whole thing, like I said, this verse lets you know, hey, man, look, don't get relaxed. And I got to call the time out, Reed. I got to call the time out, Reed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To share Wayfield say, show do. <laughs> 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 yes, sir. <laughs> hey, that's serious business when they say it like that, hey, brother. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, that is uh -huh. cold, man. Look, hey, that sister has been funny all night, honestly. Yes, sir. Hey, yes, show, sir. Man, show do. It's serious, do. it's serious business when it's like that. Show, show, show look at show, show man. Do. S H O L. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show do. Yeah. Hey, look, no doubt. So, but but the thing too that we're looking at, brother, is again, don't get relaxed. But then look how that woman faith was. Because when you see, but look, this is what I want to point out. Because hey, you don't have to be sick. To really understand this blessing. But that's what I'm going to tell you. Sometimes when you down, you know that you need the Lord and you just keep calling. That woman sick 18 years. Her faith was all the way up, man. 12 yeah. years. Mm -hmm. When Jesus came, she touched the hem of that garment, got healed immediately, right. brother. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, your faith did this. That's just the leaning on the Lord, man. Them doctors couldn't heal her. And you sing because when Jesus rolled up, she touched that garment and got healed immediately, man. Mm -hmm. But the Lord had her in that little bondage. But the whole, right. what my point is, don't let the Lord have to hold you in bondage to understand the blessing and the do what's right when you feeling good and got mm -hmm. your strength and your health. Yes, sir. Because some people got that strength and health and that money and they begin to rebel and transgress. It's a mistake. Big time. Now, let's go. Psalms 95. Let's look at this. See how much of a mistake it could be. Psalms 95 and verse 7. When you get it, my brother, go ahead. <clears throat> For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation, yes. and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. See what it's saying? Hey, he's our God. We the people of his path. So if you hear his voice, don't harden up. Be soft. Don't rebel. Don't get stubborn. Don't be like, man, I've been doing this thing the whole time. You know, I, I got a little wiggle room. Now, I ain't no wiggle room. Right. Your salvation is on the, hand, on the line. Go ahead and read, brother. When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my work. See, the Lord showing you this example. Did the father seen this thing and he said they rebelled and did not follow in his laws and his word. Go ahead. And saw my work. Forty years long was I agreed with this generation and said, it is a people that do err in their heart and they have not known my ways. Lord, walking around with them, dealing with them, showing them all these signs that they they shoes wax not old, brother James. They foot didn't swell. They didn't. Right. They gave. They, he gave manna to eat, and they were still fed, and all this type of thing. The Lord blessed them and with them, delivered yep. them from Egypt, and then he said, "Man, it's the people that err in their heart. Man, they mind is messed up. This yep. these rebels, man." And he mm -hmm. said he they they grieved him 40 years. He grieved, man. The Lord got to grieve to take care of you, show you mercy and love. And he you grieve in him and you like a smoke in his nose. <laughs> yes, sir. You irritating the one who's showing you all this love. The, if the Lord could have high blood pressure, he would deal with these people, man. Yes, sir. And you saw what happened to Moses. <laughs> yeah. But like you pointed out, see, out, 
But like you said, there's no wiggle room. And we saw that with the example with Moses, the only other intercessor besides Jesus. Mm. He couldn't get to the promised land. So there is no wiggle room here. You got to try your best to do this thing all the way right. Yes. Hold Continue with your whole read. heart yes, to sir. the end, brother. To the He that didn't do it to the end. Go ahead and read that next verse. 11. Unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. Man, and look, you get the Lord angry. Man, you ain't getting in my rest. Yeah. See, this is the goal. Because if you get into the rest, the second death won't have no power on you, brother. That is right. If you make that first resurrection, brother, and you enter, you ain't got to worry about the second. This is what we shooting for, man. You don't want to uh, uh, rebel and miss this. Right. Let's go into uh, Ezekiel 20, man. Let's go to Ezekiel 20. Uh, 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 you know, my brother James, I should have let him read this. Ezekiel 20, but I had to go get it, brother James. No, no, no. You, you agree good, with that. You good. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. I'm gonna I'm slide the mic back over to you, man, so you take us home once I hit this. Okay. And and as we know, it's a hitter. 20 and 33, my brother. 20 and 33. Go ahead. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out, will I rule over you. Look at the, the Lord said, man, I'm going to rule. This my house, this my earth. I create, I'm going to run this thing. Yep. With fury poured out. You ain't going to fool around and, and, and take over my, uh, 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 his groove. Right. Mm. You ain't going to stop the Lord, shine. Nope. No, no. Go ahead and read. 34. And I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein you are scattered with a mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. Now, this toward the end. This is the time that the Lord, you, we see people walking around on earth that the Lord is talking about right now, brother, mm -hmm. that he going to grab them from all around the globe and, and, and deal with them with fury poured out. But I'm going to rule, and I'm going to let you know, because look what they're they going to say it on the end. Go ahead and read 35. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. You going to keep these commandments or not? Go mm -hmm. ahead. Like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, say of the Lord God. Go ahead. And I will and I will cause you to pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I'm gonna bring you into the bond of the covenant. These commandments, man. You go, you're gonna keep these commandments or die. Choose ye. Hmm. That's the Lord plead with him. Go ahead and read. And I will purge out from among you the rebel. And I will purge out from among you the rebel. I'm purging them, man. Yep. I'm pushing them out of there. And look what it say. Go ahead. And them that transgress against me. Look at that. Them the same people. The rebels are the ones that transgress. And the ones that transgress are the rebels. I'm trying to make it real clear to you. Don't be fooling around breaking God's commandments. Go ahead and read. Mid 38. I will bring them forth out of the country where they shall join, and they shall not enter into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Yes, sir. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. <laughs> you remember that, doesn't you? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He wasn't going to stand up, see? No pistol in my hand. Hey, man, it's, it's like that brother, uh, somebody, he be riding through the Chattanooga uh, hills, and he's standing on the brakes, brother, because he's going down. Hey, man, the Lord stand up, and you shall know no, that I am the Lord. Yes, sir. Hey, but look here, man. This thing serious business, because mm -hmm. he said, I will bring you out of the country, and they shall not enter into the land. That's the promised land, which is the kingdom of God, which no rebels, he said he purging them, they will not get therein where all this goodness is at and, and all that, man. So I just want to read that, but I land right there, Israel. Yes, Good sir, stuff, bro. brother. See, hey, look, sister uh, Jacqueline Jacob said, if you don't keep those commandments, you're going to get that pumpkin head, okay? For sure, for you're, sure. You're going to get a spiritual one. 
a swollen head, okay? So look, brothers and sisters, let's go around. Hey, that try. don't be that um, that don't be fat, that don't be fat, and the white meat be showing. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So look, we're gonna go to first Timothy chapter one. First Timothy one, and let's pick it up at verse eight. First Timothy one and eight, my brother. First Timothy chapter one, verse eight. Go ahead and read it. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully. Go ahead. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for yes. whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for mm -hmm. man stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, mm -hmm. according to the glorious gospel of the blessed God, which was committed to my trust. Go ahead. And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who hath enabled me for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Mm hmm who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious. So injurious. look at what Paul is saying, brothers and sisters. He's saying he thanked the Lord who enabled him and counted him faithful and put him into the ministry. And then Paul is putting his dirt, some of his bad works up here. Mm -hmm. he, said, he, he said before he was a blasphemer, a persecutor, and he was injurious. Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead and read. But I obtained mercy. Because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. So because he said he did those things ignorantly. And so when the Lord tapped him and started using them, Paul kept that same energy he had as a, as a rebel. He kept that same energy. Like he was a 100% rebel. Now he a 100% server of God. Okay. Yes, well, go ahead and read, brother. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. So now let's go hit this Galatians 5, because I want y'all to understand something. When Paul was that opposition guy to the Lord, he did that on full blast. Mm. And when the Lord tapped him and brought him into the truth, he did that full blast. So mm -hmm. some of us, we was out in the world on 100%. 10 toes down, but we coming here. We want to add way to do this. You Ooh. think the Lord don't see that? Come on, bro. Huh? If you right. did that sin 100 miles an hour, then come on in here and work in this vineyard 100 miles an hour. 150. The, Lord know, the Lord know how he built you. Okay? He Ooh. knows how he built you. So look, Galatians. Chapter 5, we're going to pick it up at verse 16. So the Lord had that mercy. And we saw how a rebel turned it around. And then he told you he got a crown waiting on him. At one point, he was a rebel. Mm. But he said he did it ignorantly. And once he saw the truth, he turned to it. Listen, holy with a whole heart, he turned to it. Not halfway. He cold turkey did it. And, and, and by him cold turkey doing it, is letting you know that it's possible to go cold turkey, okay? Yeah. It don't have to take you three years in the truth to stop eating that pork chop. <laughs> you can cold turkey hey, that brother. thing. Huh? Hey, man, these, th these things are written for our example. Ammunition. Yes, sir. We got examples here. We got them, okay? So, look, let's go hit that Galatians 5 and 16, my brother. 5 and 16. Go ahead and read it. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Yes. So for look, the flesh, lust so of look, the that verse, sorry. Start that verse over for me, bro. Start it over. This I say then, mm -hmm. walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So, so follow the word of God. Tell Satan to flee from you. Don't answer to your flesh. Skip down to verse 18 and continue, brother. But. If ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Mm -hmm. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which mm -hmm. are these. Adultery, fornication, mm -hmm. uncleanness, 
lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, mm -hmm. seditions, mm -hmm. heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as mm -hmm. I've also told you in time past, That's that right. they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Rebels not allowed. No. Plain and simple. Rebels not allowed, brothers and sisters. So look, let's go and hit this First Thessalonians, brother, chapter 4. First Thessalonians 4. And then we just have one more spot after this. First Thessalonians chapter four, rebels do will not get in. First Thessalonians chapter four, let's pick it up at verse 14. He just listed you the rebels. Yeah. He just listed them. Mm -hmm. Look, first Thessalonians 4 and 14. Go ahead and read, brother. For if we believe mm -hmm. that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. He said they sleep in Jesus, right? Yes, sir. Rebels not in that group. It is not. Go ahead and read. For Come this on. we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So look, in that group, not rebels in there either. No. Go ahead and read. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, mm -hmm. with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. He said the dead in Christ shall rise first. Let's see what, what's going to happen to the living in Christ, the non-rebels. Go ahead and read. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yes, sir. So there's no rebels included there, okay? So now, right. let's go hit our last spot, First Peter chapter 4. No rebels included in those two groups. Nope. You don't, rebels don't won't have a shot unless they repent and make some changes and stay with those changes and die in that righteousness when they take their last breath or when the Lord comes back, okay? So this is our last spot right here, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. This is our last spot, 1 Peter 4 and 17. Go ahead and read. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. Mm -hmm. And if it first begin at us, mm -hmm. what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of God? So it says, look. For the time has come that judgment is going to begin at the house of God. So what's going to happen to the rebels then? Mm. Huh? What happens? To, that's the question he's asking right there, Brother Sid. Mm. What happens to the sinners? What happens to the rebels that obey not that's the right. gospel of God? Go ahead and read, brother. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, mm -hmm. where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? So if the righteous will scarcely be saved, where do the rebels appear? Go ahead and read, brother. Mm. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing yes, as unto a faithful creator. So that question was, if the righteous scarcely going to be saved, what you think going to happen to them rebels? Huh? Mm. They won't be allowed, brothers and sisters. It is all that simple. Oh, Just like somebody put here, ain't no half stepping, okay? Ain't no half stepping. <laughs> yes, sir. That's it. So look, brothers and sisters, uh, brother Sydney, uh, you got some last words on this title, brother? Tell the people oh, why you want to do said, this title. We said, we said, we said it, brother, in, in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? And, um, let the bible speak on it man and uh hey no rebels allowed in the kingdom brother right going contrary to his words to his commandments mm -hmm. it's all that simple so look brothers we 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 we, we uh, uh uh you got some words brother uh rashad what say you fear god and keep his commandments <laughs> that part okay hmm. nice 
So look, brothers and sisters, we brought this lesson and we hope somebody was edified with it. We hope somebody got strengthened from it uh, or even had some, found some verses in here that they could use uh, to, to do some outreach to someone else, okay? Um, and we thank you guys for tuning in. I didn't see any questions in the comment box tonight. So um, I didn't see any. So uh, I guess on that note, brothers and sisters, we're going to go ahead and call it a night. Y'all pardon us for shutting down early. Oh, by the way, uh, to the brothers and sisters over there at the uh, Sykeston, Missouri class, a.k.a. Uh, Cape Gerardo, Brother Eddie, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Brother Mike, Brother uh, 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 Brother Joaquin, and even uh, my little bitty brother, Michael Dean Mays, okay? So look, uh, I want to thank him for that hospitality and uh, and the assistance up there. Uh, and I uh, wish y'all well in your new place up there in uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. And, hey, uh, man, when they open it down there? I think he, Brother Eddie, said April 20. April 20? That's what he said, yeah. Cool, cool. That's nice, yeah. man. They in a good space so they can build and grow, man. And right. Cape Girardeau, that's uh, yeah. the Missouri area. Southeast yeah. Missouri. I think they're going to start calling it Southeast Missouri class because there's a lot of towns, little cities around in there. Some of them even on the other side of the river on the Illinois side, like Carbondale and uh, Cairo and places like that, right? Oh, um, okay. So they're going to call it Southeast Missouri. So they, they don't want nobody. Oh, this Sister Keyshawn in New Orleans. Sister Keyshawn, is that you? She said, read uh, and explain First John 5, verses 7 and 8. Mm -hmm. Them three you see that? Record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the three that bear record. Um, hey, man, Cape Girardeau, hey, man, Lord be with them to bless them so they can grow down there real good, man, and yes. the Lord blessing these uh, locations, man, and and uh having a place to israel to come and keep the holy sabbath you know so you can learn this word and you can teach others also once you learn right so now look let's go we got a couple of questions we got to know about revelation six so let's go read that okay. first john five and seven and eight brother what that say for there are three that bear record in heaven mm -hmm. the father yep. the word and the holy ghost and these three are one. Now let's go show how they bear the record. These three. Let's go. Let's go back to Revelation one. Because some people love to try to go in and act like Holy Ghost is God. Let's go show them what who these three that bear the record. Revelation one and one, my brother. Go ahead and read that. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which the God gave Jesus. The revelation of Jesus. Go ahead. Which God gave unto him. Time out, brother. The father gave it to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's two, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go get this mm -hmm. other one that bear record from heaven. Go ahead and read, brother. To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So he said he's going to notify his servants of things which will shortly come to pass. Let's see how Jesus is going to let these servants know. Go ahead and read, brother. And he sent and signified it by his angel. And by his angel, that's the third one. Angels are not God. Mm -hmm. They are the three that bear mm -hmm. record in heaven. Okay, just let's go give you a quick example. Let's go Luke chapter one. So he said he going to show his servants things as must shortly come to pass. Let's go show them a quick example. Luke chapter one. Let's start at verse 26. Sister Keyshawn, you there? Don't hang up now. Luke one. Mm -mm. And uh, let's pick it up at verse 26, brother. Luke 1 and 26. 26. Uh, somebody got a question. Is partying sinful? Mm. It, dep it depends on what you're talking about. Right. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? What you say. And you probably already know. But look. Yeah. Uh, Luke 1 and 26, brother. Go ahead and read that. And then the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent. From God until Hold the city on, of brother. Galilee. Did we just read that Jesus showed his servant was must surely come to pass and he sent it by an angel? 
yep. which is a spirit, yeah. a ministry spirit, as Brother Sidney pointed out in his lesson. And since they didn't follow Satan, they are holy spirits, not unclean yes. spirits. They are holy That's spirits, right. holy angels. So go ahead mm -hmm. and read, brother. Yes. Sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. Uh-huh. To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. Give down and hit that 30, brother. Go ahead. And the angel said unto her, fear not, Mary, mm -hmm. for thou hast found favor with God. Go ahead. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Y'all see how the angel told the servant of God some things that must shortly come to pass. We see that, right? We mm -hmm. see that, right? Now watch this here. Let's go look at something else on this side right here. Let's go and hit uh, Galatians 1 and 1. Let's go hit Galatians 1 and 1 real quick. Galatians 1 and verse 1, my brother. Go ahead and read it. Galatians 1 and 1, what that say? Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, mm -hmm. but by Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. and, and God the Father who raised him from the dead. Okay, so we only see two right there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see no Holy Ghost <laughs> God right here. So go to Ephesians and hit chapter 1 and verse 2. Yes, sir. Ephesians 1 and 2. What that say, bro? Yes. God, grace be uh, grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Where that Trinity at right there, brother? It ain't there. Where's the Trinity? Mm -hmm. Look, mm -hmm. go to Philippians 1 and read verse 2. Mm -hmm. There's two in the Godhead, the Father and the Son. The Holy Angel right. is a ministering, serving spirit which do what the Lord tell them to do. Mm -hmm. 1 and 2 in Philippians. What that say, brother? Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father mm -hmm. and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Y'all see that, brothers and sisters? Mm -hmm. The three mm -hmm. that bear record in heaven because that's where the angels operate out of. You got yeah. the Father and the Son and the angels come and do God's bidding and take care of his business. Yeah. They are Holy Spirit. Now, now go to Acts chapter, now go to Acts chapter 1. Yes, sir. Acts one. Keyshawn, you there? <laughs> yeah. Acts one. Hopefully, okay. hopefully they still with us. Acts mm -hmm. one and uh, pick it up at um. Let me see. Uh, verse. Uh, just pick it up at verse one. Acts one one. Go ahead. Yeah. The former. <clears throat> the former treatise have I made, O Theophilus, of all that Jesus began both to do and teach until the day Jesus in which doing he, and teaching. Yeah. Go ahead. Until the day in which he was taken up, after that he, through the Holy Ghost, had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. That he, Jesus, went through the Holy Ghost, which is that angel uh, that Brother James pointed out. That third one that bear the record to man, he through the had given a commandment to the apostles. But now through the uh, dispensation of the angels, go to uh, Acts chapter seven. Go to Acts chapter seven. See, that's why the Lord said you rightfully divide this truth, right? You put yes, this sir. thing together so you can understand. But that that Revelation one actually. Uh, 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 said, laid it down, man. It was a dope yeah. popper, as they say. Should have taken care of that, yeah. But now, go to seven and um, go to Acts chapter seven. Just give them a little more ammo and pick it up at verse uh fifty one. Look what this say. Go ahead. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in hearts and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Your fathers mm -hmm. did, so do ye. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them which show before of the coming of the just one. 
of whom ye mm-hmm. have been now the betrayers and murderers. One more bird. Who have received- now? Wait, go ahead. So he said. So he said that uh, 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 that the coming of the just one, that Jesus, who you mm-hmm. betrayed and murdered. Go to verse fifty-three. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels? And how did not- how did the servants? How did the servants keep get the law? By the angel. the angel, the Holy Ghost. By the by by that, but that holy one, the just one who dispensed the angels to, to give them the message. But go just ahead like and Revelation read. Revelation 1 and 1 said, yep. It's just like Revelation 1 and 1. We but look, he gonna pick it up. Go ahead, verse 54. And have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth. See, hey man, the Lord be cutting people straight to the heart, brother, straight to the meat. Go ahead and read. Mm. But he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing on the right hand of God and said, Wait a minute. He saw, he saw, he saw a, 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 a God and he saw Jesus standing on the right hand of God. Ain't yeah. that the Father and the Son right there, but James? Yes, sir. And how did he send them by the dis- to give them the commandment to dispensing angels, man? Yes, sir. So look, we, the thing is clear. Oh, yes, huh? sir. So let's deal with this one more before we get late. Here's one yeah, more. You want to deal with this one, Sydney? Revelation six, nine, and eleven. Let's see what it do. Let's go there, brother Rashad. Sorry, Revelation so six, nine through eleven. Let's see. Go ahead. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. And they Mm -hmm. cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Mm -hmm. And white robes were given unto every one of them. And it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Okay, so you seeing uh, here that uh, some metaphoric speaking. Right. Just it like it, 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 look, it looks, see, it was a vision that the Lord showed John, okay? But uh-huh. if you go to Revelation so, 20, you see him. They were beheaded for the word of God. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, uh, uh, but you know, the dead know not anything, brother. Exactly. So it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor of speaking here. But when you go, uh, uh, go to uh, Revelation 12 and one real quick. <clears throat> mm-hmm. 12 and one. And, and, yeah, read that. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she being with Mm -hmm. child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another Mm -hmm. wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Okay. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood Mm -hmm. before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. Okay, so now we see here that you see this is a woman having a crown of of 12 stars and the sun and the moon, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Ain't that what we read? A, 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 yes. a clove with the sun and the moon under her feet and had a crown of 12 stars? Yes. Now, same thing here that we're reading. You're seeing metaphoric speaking because this will put all Israel in heaven. But we see uh, uh, this is metaphoric speaking of visions that's being seen. All right. Now, let's go into... um. Uh, uh, Cause it said he saw the uh, the souls of them, right? Let's go to Genesis real quick and read something. Let's go to Genesis um, chapter two. Mm-hmm. 
Genesis 2, and we want to pick it up at verse uh, 7. Genesis 2, and pick it up at verse 7. All right, when you get it, go ahead and read. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. What did man become? A living soul, correct? Mm -hmm. And they and then, and then you see and then they seen these souls that he said that was under this altar, right? <laughs> we gonna look at this because, like I said, you looking at metaphoric speaking. Go into um um going to that Ecclesiastes nine. We just breaking this down real quick. Go to Ecclesiastes chapter nine. Ecclesiastes nine, and I think we want verse five when you get it. Ecclesiastes nine and verse five. When you get it, go ahead and read. For the living know that they shall die. Okay. But the dead know not anything. Not the dead anything. what? No, not anything. The dead know not anything. Man. He saw not the souls have... under the office. He saw the souls under the altar. Lord, Lord, how long? But they was dead because they it said they were beheaded. But go ahead and read. Mid five. Neither have they any more reward. For the memory of them uh -huh. is forgotten. Uh huh. Also, their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Okay. So now it said that they are uh, 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 these people that have perished, they have nothing more to do. That are done. They love, they hate you. Everything is perished. Now go to Ezekiel 18 real quick. Ezekiel 18. And then I got one more. And I think we want verse uh, four, uh, three. Once you get it, go ahead. As I live, saith the Lord God, ye shall not have occasion any more to use this proverb in Israel. Mm -hmm. Behold, all oh. souls are mine. Mm -hmm. as, the, as the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul Go that ahead. sinneth, it shall die. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. And they wouldn't be laying under the altar talking because they was beheaded. Right. So this all meta metaphor speaking of what's going to take place in the future. That's right. all that is. But now, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, you read verse four. Yes, sir. All right. Um, let's go into Isaiah. I think it's chapter twenty six is what I'm looking for. You want verse 19, see it? Um, I think it is. Uh, let me see. Isaiah 26. Let me look at it. Thy dead men shall live with my dead body. Shall they arise? Uh, let me see. Uh, read verse 9 real quick. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are mm -hmm. in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Okay. Um, that ain't the one I'm looking for. 14. The soul that sinned, it shall die. That's really good. That's really what I'm looking for. The soul is the body that is going to die. But when they was looking at these souls laying under the altar that had been beheaded, 
it's a metaphor speaking of the future when they uh, uh was looking at that um that uh what john was uh was uh speaking on in that revelations right. uh six right and to that's that all question, i got on that brother thank you brother sydney and to that question about why jesus napkin was over here in his linen clothes over there uh I, you know brother joe put a put something up there saying that the bible don't really express any significance of anything about what jesus said about what why his napkin was away from the clothes it's kind of like when I, I real real talk when i take my clothes mm -hmm. off my shirt might end up right here <laughs> one of my socks might end up over there you understand what i'm saying yeah until i toss them in the basket with the dirty clothes you know <laughs> They might end so up in a different box, but anyway, we're going to. Um, what was the real question, though? She just said, "Why was the napkin off Jesus' head in a separate spot from his clothes, from the linen clothes?" You know. Mm. But uh, yeah. I but anyway, know. we gonna ride on out with that one. We hope everybody got some edification tonight from the couple of questions we dealt with. Sister Keyshawn, I'm going to call you, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know that sister, man. She part of the Baton Rouge class. But anyway. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sister Keyshawn. So anyway, yeah, brothers and sisters, we hope y'all have a blessed, wonderful Sabbath tomorrow um, at class at the Holy Convocation. Um, take time to love on your brothers and sisters. And, uh, and if you don't have a job in the vineyard, see if you get one, okay? <laughs> hey, it's plenty of work. It's plenty, plenty of work, of man. There's plenty of work to do. Yeah. Okay? The laborers are few. Yes, sir. It's plenty. So anyway, y'all, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming on, Brother Sidney. Thank you, Brother Rashad. Brother Kevin, we waiting on you, my brother. Thanks all the audience for tuning in. Brother Thin, we see you out there, Israel. And mom, the e bear, too. We see you. So, hey, peace hey, and love, y'all. It's been a blessing, my brother. Yes, sir. And we'll hey, see y'all. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, brother, care. Keep getting strong, brother. Keep receiving that healing, brother. Yeah, I got a feeling he's going to get back sooner than we think. But, uh, praise God. Praise the Lord God of Israel. So, look, hey, brother, brother Rashad, good reading once again, my brother. Yeah. Hey man, it was good working with you, brother James, laying that word down. You know how it is. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Likewise. So if the Lord say the same, brothers and sisters, we're gonna be right back here, same time, same channel, next Friday a.m. slash Sabbath. Okay. Peace and blessings. Many thanks. Much love. We are out. Yes, sir. Peace. <laughs>